All right, so look, um, customer excitement for MI350 is very strong based on the performance and you know, cost per token advantages. I'm happy to announce that MI355 production shipments actually started earlier this month, and we have the initial wave of partners on track to launch platforms and public cloud instances here in the third quarter. So really, really excited about MI350. <laughs> now, another important focus for us is sovereign computing. Around the world, we're partnering with national governments and research institutes to help build the high-performance computing and AI infrastructure that is really critical for their economies. And the goal really goes far beyond just building domestic compute capacity. It's really about using AI to power public services, research, and national programs that create societal impact. To get there, governments are actually prioritizing resilient infrastructure. They want open standards, they want flexible architectures, and they want a diverse ecosystem of technology partners. Today, we have more than 40 active engagements globally powering critical public agencies, national computing centers, and sovereign AI activities. From the world's fastest supercomputers in the US to the rapid expansion of high-performance computing across Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, to a wave of sovereign AI deployments around the world. This is a growing part of the market, and we are increasingly spending more time helping nations build their computing strategy and infrastructure. One of the best examples of our progress is in Europe with our Silo AI team. Silo is our AMD AI lab, but they're also a solutions factory collaborating closely with governments, industries, and research institutions to develop models and applications aligned with national priorities and optimized on our hardware. Silo is working across Europe, collaborating with companies like Allianz, Nokia, Philips, and Unilever, advancing open multilingual LLMs with the European Commission, and pushing frontier model research on the AMD-powered Lumi supercomputer. They're also playing a very important leadership role in the open source AI community, contributing to models and partnering with leading AI innovators like Aleph Alpha, Mistral, and NXAI. Now, another extremely exciting example of our sovereign efforts is our work with Humane, a new company with an ambitious vision to build advanced, locally developed AI in the Middle East. To share more about our work, please welcome Tarek Amin, CEO of Humane. Good morning, Lisa. Hello, Tarek. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It is great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we're so excited about our partnership um, together. Well, first of all, uh, thank you very much for inviting me here. I don't need to tell you this, but AMD is really an important partner for Humane, important partner for Saudi Arabia, and also important partner for the entire larger ecosystem of AI companies. Well, look, uh, you guys are on an exciting mission. Um, I had the, uh, the pleasure and honor to be with you in the kingdom just last month, and the vision that you're laying out, um, launching Humane, you know, it's such an important moment. Uh, for um, you know the kingdom and, and just taking sovereign AI to the next level. So, uh, can you share with us? Just tell me about yeah. our vision, your plans, everything. So, so Lisa gave me four minutes. By the way, this is the biggest challenge. <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest challenge I have. But uh, I, I wish I could share with you what we have done uh, last month. Uh, I'll take a perspective just to tell you the entire story and the partnership that we're doing with AMD to redefine the entire AI infrastructure ecosystem. Um, in the U.S., I had the opportunity to build digital infrastructure across 22 cities. I moved to India, where I learned how to scale things. I moved to Tokyo, where I built technology that was in a research paper, realize it, and the story gets completed with Humane. Humane and Saudi Arabia came together through the consolidation of enterprise, various enterprises in the country, and also one government entity that was developing large language models. Our obsession is about disruption via technology. The way we pick partners is not based on what I call transactional selections. When we met Lisa and her team, we really hit it off um, because we both agreed that we're going to co-own the outcomes. It was very, very important that co-owning the outcomes and having a skin in the game, taking a risk to build something that is good for humanity was a very, very important mission. So today, you know, in front of all of you, though we've talked about this, 
the announcement about the joint venture with AMD, um, I am really thankful for your support for what we need to do. But I want to give you a glimpse of what this really means. We are committed, and when we looked at the advantage of what Saudi Arabia could really do, by 2030, the deficit in power is estimated to be around 100 gigawatts. No matter what you do, you will still need power to build the capacity that we need uh, for AI. This is an added advantage that we thought we could really help and we could participate into this AI global ecosystem. We have an abundance of land, an abundance of power, a mixture of renewable as well as traditional energy, and a really very young society that is hungry to learn. So we thought this could be great. Um, our commitment for all AI developers and AI companies, what if, if we reduce your cost of ownership by 30%? From whatever you could achieve as the lowest worldwide cost, I'm committing to make that together with Lisa, that, the that lowest cost. That sounds like a cost. good commitment. <laughs> so, um, so we're really, really happy. This is a, a game-changing moment. We're really privileged that this joint venture is going to be a game-changer. 2030, 1.9 gigawatt. 2034, 6 gigawatts. It starts in Riyadh, but it doesn't stop there. We will go and look at other global opportunities to build our infrastructure. You know, Tarek, um, I want to just point out some of the things that you said, right? We've talked about um, the need for power. Uh, we've talked about you know, the need for speed. And we've talked about the need for efficiency in what we're doing. Um, I think that, you know, what impresses me the most about the work that we're doing together is um, you, you really have like a clean sheet of paper to talk about what's next. So we've talked about a lot of AI infrastructure, both in the kingdom and outside of the kingdom. Can you just talk about how you know, some of the milestones that we have in place? So, so I think uh, as soon as we really crafted this agreement, I mean, um, the timing of Lunch Humane was not also coincidental. Um, you know, we were really happy that it was coincided with a presidential visit into Saudi Arabia to talk about relationship and partnership they're doing with technology companies such as AMD. We have already started the construction of two large campuses, 11 data centers, each one of them of 200 megawatt capacity each. I will tell you, Lisa, almost on a weekly basis, Tarek, we need to move faster, we need to move faster, so I really appreciate I, your spirit. I have some <laughs> MI350s for you that need data centers. So, so, um, so we're, by, by this year, I mean, our entire build is to get our first 50 megawatt done, and then we start scaling up on 50 megawatt module, modules every quarter. So my entire obsession now is about the infrastructure layer. Um, one thing that I think all of you saw when uh, Lisa was talking about the new generation, I mean, I would tell you congratulations on MI350. I could not even be more excited about what 2026. I think the MI400 series is a game changer for our industry. But realize that what we are doing with AMD is not just I'm buying chips. Lisa and your team have enabled us to really disrupt the TCO. Second is about openness. We talked about this. We said we need an inclusivity. The world working together is a better place than us being fragmented. And the idea that we build an open ecosystem, inviting many others to participate, including AMD, including Cisco, and many other financial partners that are going to come and take this hopefully as a blueprint of what we need to do to address the gap that the world have in energy. That's fantastic. Um, Tarek, thank you again for the incredible partnership. Uh, we are super excited about what we're doing together. I think we're super excited about what we're going to do for this AI ecosystem going forward. And um, Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. thank you. Really thank you. appreciate it. Thank you.